All right, so um, if you haven't watched my first video, which kind of gives you an idea of who I am and where I'm coming from with this information, go ahead and check it out. It's the vi first video in the series, um, The Fear-Free Cancer Journey, that's what I'm calling it. And my name is Zen Cryer to Brooke, and in February of 2021, um, I was doing a self-examination and I felt a lump. And I use this practice called opening and closing, and, and when you're feel an opening in the center of your body, it means what you're thinking is true. And when you're feeling a tightness, it means what you're thinking is not true or not gonna happen. And as soon as I felt the lump, I thought, oh no, this is cancer. And I felt this expansion, which means that what I was thinking is true, it is. And I immediately went to, it's all over my body, and I felt a tight sensation. I was like, okay, it's not all over my body. And my mind started churning around what to do. And I decided to just drop in and feel my body and just be with the fact that I just found this lump and that it was cancer and I knew it. And I spent the next two weeks, I didn't really mention it to anybody, I kind of spent the next two weeks following my thoughts about this and they were very surprising to me. As I was thinking through this, it's very much like getting guidance on, on the trajectory that you're gonna be going in next. And anytime I would think about leaving my kids behind, I have a, I have a 12 year old little girl and a seven year old little boy that are, I'm mom to and we homeschool and, and they're deep, deeply a part of, you know, of course, as any mom, my heart. Um, I would, I would in, in thinking of leaving them, I would close. And what I opened to over and over and over again was that I wasn't gonna die. And I opened and felt an expanded, centered feeling whenever I thought I'm gonna have to go on this cancer journey though. The interesting thing was, is I would have moments where I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do any kind of surgery. I don't want to, I don't want to move. I don't want to do any kind of chemo or, and I know that you guys all might have your ideas. I, I don't have that path drawn out for me yet. This is just the very beginning for me. And so we'll see how I feel when the, it comes, but I didn't want to do radiation or chemo. I was just in my life in general, I am doing well and great. And I love how it's going and I don't want a hiccup like this. And that would close me. I'd feel a tightness. And this is where it gets really interesting and this is why I'm doing the videos. That means that what I'm thinking is not true or not gonna happen because that tightness happened to those thoughts. And I thought, I do, I do wanna go through this experience and I felt an opening. Now there's a lot of times when this internal guidance system has given me the opposite of what I thought it was gonna give me. I mean, I, I remember one time I was when I was being a CEO of a tech company and there was this big mixer I had to go through and I was exhausted and it had been a long week and I didn't want to go and I'm driving thinking about going home and getting changed and going. I was like, I don't want to go. I just want to stay home and watch Janeway and Voyager and relax and eat comfy food and I closed. And I thought, I do want to go to this mixer tonight. I do want to do this and I opened. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to go. So I've had this experience and what ended up happening with the mixer was I went and I had the best time. I got totally re-engaged, I was excited, I, I needed to play, I needed to meet people, I needed to get out there and laugh and, and, and have fun. That was more important than putting on my comfy cozies and watching a favorite show, right? And so the thing is like, as I go through this, I'm able to now trust this part of myself that knows more about me and what I need and what I wanna go through than I do. And I got an opening, I got an opening that I wanted to go through this journey, which immediately settled me. It gave it purpose, it gave it meaning. There's something important that this is gonna bring and I'm not quite sure what it is. Like I said, I'm on the beginning. I'm gonna do a few videos to catch up and then I'm hoping to do a few videos uh, every few days to kind of give you where I'm at and what's happening and how I'm using this part of myself that you two have. But. Um, for those of you who are students of the Smart Soul Academy, you too have had things where you close and you think it's the opposite that you want and it turns out that it works out to be beautiful. It, it turns out even better than what you would have thought. And that's where I'm at right now is, I don't know how, but this is gonna end up being the best thing that could have happened, this cancer journey. And I can, I feel it. I can feel it deeply in my heart and my bones. It's giving me this sense of um, tenderness and preciousness and love. Um, it's been really interesting to be in the opening as I move through this experience, the opening meaning feeling centered and wise and confident and at ease, um, feel super healthy and super 
tender and loving towards my body, even the cancer, which I'm gonna talk about in another video, but even the mass in my breast, I have this energy of love for and uh, respect for. And so anyways, um, over that two weeks as I was doing all of that, um, the lump changed, it grew, it started getting bigger, and there was a pucker in the side of my breast. It's on the right side, it's in the right breast. And there was a little pucker and that's one of the signs that it's cancer, but I already knew that it was cancer. So I was like, dang it, it's moving. It's not supposed to move fast. That's why I took those two weeks. I read up on it and I was like, it's supposed to be slow, but it's changing. And so I immediately caught a hold of my doctor and I let my husband know that this was the real deal. He's one that will be like, we'll wait and see. But I was like, he knows me well enough to also know when I say something's opening and that it's the real deal. And I got in three weeks later and I had a mammogram. When I went to the mammogram, it was interesting because I'm sitting in this little spa area in the women's clinic and I had the opposite response because I was like, oh no, because I teach this stuff for a living. I teach how to use your internal guidance system. And um, I had this feeling sitting there, what if it's not? What if it's just another fibroid? I'm making this all up. I'm being overly dramatic. What if it's actually not cancer? And how would that affect my entire career and 23 years of work that I've put into decoding this part of our body? Immediately I closed that it, you know, that it's not cancer, so it's still working. But I had that moment, my mind went crazy. And I think the big thing is, is it's all about working with the craziness of your mind, the fear that your mind has, and then this centered, divine, intuitive, precious place that's supporting us and moving through the craziness in the, in the, of the mind. And it's from our thoughts and our mind that all of the stress and worry and anxiety and overwhelm and fear come from. And then there's this other place that you can tap into. And so we went in, I went into the mimogram room and by the second picture, the radiolo the person who takes the picture, she's not the radiologist, but whoever, the mammogram person, um, on the second picture, she looked at me and she goes, you'll get your results today. And I thought, darn it, it is, it's cancer. I usually get them in the mail and I don't get them immediately. So we went through the whole process and went into an ultrasound and the woman sitting there also was saying was starting to measure the mass and she goes i'm going to bring the radiologist in and i said can you tell me and she goes i did that once years ago and i don't want to do it again um i'm going to let the doctor talk to you and so we got done with that and they came in and she showed me the mass and she asked me a bunch of questions about my last mammogram which had been in october just like four or five months earlier and um she said it's it should have been seen in october and it's large and this is not benign. And she showed me it. She said, this is not benign. And I was just kind of sitting there because I already knew. I already was given that information from my own internal guidance, right? And so, and I could feel it. I knew the truth. And I was just sitting there for a minute, just kind of being with it, with her in the dark, in this sonogram room. And um, she looked at me and she goes, so I'm I want you to know that this is not benign and I, I'm going to send you right into a biopsy and an oncology surgeon. I'm gonna, we're going to bypass the doctor. We're going to go right to the surgeon to look at this. And I said, okay. And um, I said, I already know that I have cancer. I'm at peace. I know that I'm not going to die. I'm good. Because they were waiting for the normal response. I would. That's what I felt. And uh, she looked at me and she goes, you really are at peace. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. And I'm actually, this is good. This is part of what I have to go through in life and I'm, I'm actually good with all of this. And she looked at me and she said, keep that peace because we've found that when you feel that peace, it, it contributes greatly to your healing. That peace is important. And I, I was like, thank you. I appreciate that. I agree. I'm going to keep this peace. And so I left the mammogram and let everybody in my life know um, that was really in the immediate family that I have. And, um, yeah, so I just do really feel this peace and it's been consistent. So I'm going to move on and kind of give you the next few videos, the, the, the trajectory and what unfolded from there, uh, with, with my family and different people, um, and just share with you how my telling them of this information and then up coming into my biopsy, what happened and, and how I've been working with this since then. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. And if you know anybody who could use this information about how to go through a, a fear-free cancer journey, I would love for you to um, send them this way or subscribe so you can get updates. Uh, currently right now, it is May of 2021 and I have no idea what's gonna happen next. 
haven't gotten my results yet. They're coming soon. So I will share with you how that all goes and what is really going on. And I look forward to uh, hopefully communicating with you in the comments. All right. Love you. Have a great day. Bye.